What is up guys, it is Jesse back with Retro Zone Neon. Before we get into the thrift haul, I just have a little bit of uh, channel news to get into. Um, channel update, if you will. Um, so let's get right into it. A little bit of background before I get into the changes. Um, I am a second semester senior in college right now and um, entering my, or I've already entered my last semester of school ever, so Oh, that's good. But that also means that I have a lot of other things on my plate right now. I have um, job searching type things to think about. I have uh, thesis and um, big uh, final projects on my plate, stuff like that. So I'm not going to be able to have enough time to do uh, YouTube. Um, on the same schedule as I've been doing for the past six or so months. So because of that, I just have a lot of other things on my plate right now that are frankly more important. Um, I won't be able to do two uploads a week. And if, if you've been on the channel, you already know that the last two-ish weeks I haven't been hitting that. And so I just wanted to finally announce once and for all that I'm not gonna be able to do two videos a week. But don't despair, fellow viewers because you can still expect videos from me. Um, I am planning on hopefully uh, still doing one video a week um, and that I will probably aim for either Wednesday or Friday upload time, but that's not gonna be a concrete thing. I'm gonna do videos as uh, time allows and um, when I have things to tape and show you guys, um, but I just, don't have time because the time commitment that I've been in the past was around 20 to 25 hours a week uh, on top of school and everything else uh, and that includes going out and hunting to find things uh, to put on YouTube that includes filming that includes uh, setting up and taking down my filming setup that includes editing and upload time that includes um, all the time it takes once a video is on YouTube doing descriptions doing uh, you know the tags for the videos and different video settings and all that type of stuff so 20 to 25 hours a week and I really need to be spending that time job hunting and getting prepared for job hunting and focusing on my final push um, out of school so um, one video a week Wednesday or Friday um, I'm gonna try and do one video there may be times where I don't I'm not able to hit that and it may be two weeks in between videos and honestly, also, if I have time and things to tape, you can expect two or three videos a week from me, just like I said before. I am committed to still bringing you content, um, but it just won't be as regular. So I hope you guys understand, and now let's get into the Alrighty, thrift. guys, let's get into the thrift. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a thrift catch-up slash uh, stuff I got today. I've actually been out all day today thrifting uh, and doing other errands, but also thrifting, and I picked up a handful of stuff, not a lot of stuff. But I also have this backlog of stuff that I need to show you, so let's get into it. I'm going to start with some books and printed media, get into games, and then toys and other things that I have here. So let's get right into it. First up, we have these Star Wars paperbacks. So I got five of them here from Goodwill. Pretty sure these were half off, because I probably wouldn't have bought them. If they weren't, but we got uh, Han Solo Trilogy Volume 1. I have the whole trilogy there. Han Solo, Han Solo Trilogy Volume 2. And... Or maybe I don't have them. I just have the first two books of these. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. And then I have this uh, Star Wars Slave Ship with... Uh, what was that? Prince Excisor on the cover. And then... Star Wars The Mandalorian Armor, number one of the Bounty Hunter Wars, and number two of the Bounty Hunter Wars. And then, the cream of the crop, this one, Star Wars Tales of the Empire, from the Empire. Now, if you guys uh, don't know about these Star Wars Tales books, they're really cool. They, they have several of them, including Tales from Jabba's Palace. Uh, they have, like, a Bounty Hunter-centric one. And they're all really cool because it's not a big story. There's basically, this whole, it's a whole book of short stories. Uh, from different people's viewpoints. Very good books. I fully recommend if you ever see them to pick them up. And this one's in phenomenal shape, which is awesome. So I picked these bad boys up. Um, I don't have a lot of time to read, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. No, I prefer 
Star Wars uh, paperbacks. So next up on the same day, I got this Lego Star Wars Visual Dictionary. Now this is not the type of book I would normally get, but you can see still had the minifig in it. So uh, this came with the exclusive Luke Skywalker minifigure, pretty cool. And the price is even better, a dollar. So I picked that up and honestly it's, you know, pretty cool book too. If you're into Star Wars Lego, like I am, that was the Falcon UCS. Next up, we have, I got some wrestling magazines. I got these from Savers a while back. I think they were uh, like 29 cents a piece or something like that. So we got Flair and Perfect Split Up Ugly. This is a early 90s to mid 90s um, wrestling magazine. So that was pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, I thought I had more of them, but I do have Starlog, a couple of uh, issues, which are pretty cool sci-fi magazines. See this one on Terminator 2, Young Indiana Jones, and Star Trek. So that's pretty cool. One of them, this one feels like it has a little bit of water damage, but, you know, they were so cheap. Like 29 cents a piece, I, whatever. But savers around here usually don't have very good magazines, but those were the exception. Here's some video games. You probably already saw me from panning over. So I got this today, Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX for GameCube. Uh, bad part about this one is it's not in a GameCube case and I'm kind of a stickler for GameCube cases. I really like them. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for a beater case to put this guy in. But I got that today from Savers for $2.99, paid full price. These three Xbox games are from a while ago. Um, got Doom 3 Steelbook, pretty cool. And you can see the art on the back there. Complete even has the unused old school Xbox Live card. So that's kind of cool. They don't do those anymore, do they? So got that. I'm a fan of these steel books, also the Halo 2 one. Got Project Gotham Racing and Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate, which is part of the box set of Dead or Alive. So I don't have the other one, but. That one's pretty cool. All of these were the same price, uh, three bucks a piece. So, whatever. I like Xbox stuff. Uh, next up, we got a little bit of Lego here. I got this one a while back. Been waiting to show you guys. Pirates Code. I don't know if it has a price. Yeah, two ninety nine. So definitely, we'll take Lego for that. Open it up, and inside you can see. You know, nothing amazing, no amazing pieces, but it's got this big chest piece, which is pretty cool. And then so many of the little gems and the little skeleton minifigs, so that's pretty cool. And then today, I picked up another copy of Ramses Pyramid, which was $5.99. A little pricey, but um, it has a base plate, so you can see in here, got the full base plate in good shape all of the stuff you got the little micro figs pretty cool so for $5.99 I'll take it mostly for the base plate but I mean there's good good uh, usable pieces in there so that's good um, we're doing games so let's go ahead and do this got a copy of risk oh yeah and this is legit risk not uh, they have a newer version of risk with different rules but I'm a fan of Risk. I've played it a handful of times, but you can see this is a legit version with all of the miniatures. Is it missing pieces? I don't know. Probably, but it seems like it's in really good shape. Um, so I picked it up. The only bad part is the box is a little bit beat up. You can see the side is crushed and the corners of the box are ripping. This part right here is pretty bad, but you know, whatever. It's a thrift store game. What do you want? And this was $3.99. So that's pretty cool. I'll move that off to the side here. Um, I also picked this up today. You can see $2.99 is the price, but vintage etched glass from Empire Strikes Back. Very cool. You can see the date on here, 1980. So this is official vintage stuff in $2.99, which is pretty cool. Uh, they didn't have the whole set, which was a little bit of a bummer, but it's in really, really good shape. And I pick up etched glasses when I find them and they're not exorbitant, which is not very often. Most thrift stores uh, charge you for these guys. But for $2.99, I will pick this up. I think it's less than it cost when it was new. 
So, and I think these are worth 10 or 15 dollars or whatever, but I don't plan on selling it. It's pretty cool. And Lando's the suave guy, so gotta have that one. So we'll set this over here so it doesn't get broken. So let's get into toys. I'll go ahead and do this first. We just did vintage Star Wars, so here's some more vintage Star Wars. We have a vintage snow speeder. I got for $2.99, but it was half off. So $1.50. I got this the same day I got the Thundercats uh, art set. If you haven't seen that uh, video right here, and uh, yeah, I mean $1.50 for this, uh, pretty good. Only problem is um, it's missing pretty much everything. The only part that can come off easily that it's not missing is this end cap. It's missing this one, but not that one. So, and, but, I mean, it's in good shape. It'd make a good uh, candidate for restoration. It's not yellowed. I'm trying to open the battery door. The internals are in really good shape. And it has the battery door. It's not missing, so that's a plus. Um, I tried to uh, source parts for this. I need the canopy, both cannons, and end cap. And, I mean, there's like a string thing that goes on this, but I don't really care about that. But those parts, I mean, it was going to be like $35 for... Just the parts to get this thing up so I probably will never do that or at least not anytime soon so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but I have it and it's big and bulky uh, so and then along the same lines we have this guy little baby snow speeder this is from the Galactic Heroes line which you guys know I am a fan of so I picked it up obviously very cool um, let's see this was also $2.99 so $1.50 and it has the big cannon on the back with the removable uh, claw thing I don't know but also cool about this is the little air brakes open which is pretty cool it has the canopy which is also a part that easily is lost um, I don't think it has any lighter sound but it does roll on the ground so that's pretty cool and space enough for two figures inside so that's cool definitely happy to have that those Galactic Heroes uh, uh, vehicles are actually really cool um, along the same lines, we'll go with this bad boy. I got this Mad Balls vehicle. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I've looked it up. It's definitely an uncommon toy, and I picked it up uh, a while back. I've been saving it for a long time um, because it's very cool. I don't know where the price is on it. Not on the wheel, the giant wheel on the back. But I, I think it was like $2.99 or something like that. It wasn't very much. Um, but this is for the smaller Mad Balls, which are not the big like baseball size ones like you would normally think of. And this toy goes on eBay for approximately $30 to $40, so that was good pickup. Um, it's missing, there was like a like a backboard and like a goal that would go right here for like shooting your, your uh, guys in there. But pretty cool. And since they started reproducing Mad Balls, they have the ones that are this size again. Thought about picking up a couple of those uh, to go with this, which is pretty cool. Don't see this uh, very often these days, so happy to have that for sure. Um, next up, I also thrifted today, $5.99. Got some Disney Infinity uh, figures. You know, I know probably most of you guys are hated or love it with Disney Infinity, and I've been covering it on my channel. The videos haven't been doing that well, but you know, I'm gonna keep doing it because I like it, not because I need to get views. But these were three I don't have, so we got Lightning McQueen. They're in reasonably good shape. We got Toe Mater, which is also in pretty good shape. And I forget this chick's name. She it was a Porsche, something like that. But um, pretty cool. She's probably the one that's a little bit rough around the edges, but I'll take her. Like I said, I, I like the cars figures, and it's nice because in game they don't run; they just kind of roll around, which makes sense, right? So those were a good pickup for me for $5.99. Um, and so that will do it for the thrifted stuff. I have a couple of other items here. I picked up these two guys today. There is a die-cast store in town today that was going out of business. I've been meaning to make it over there for forever, but never did. And I finally went over there because I saw on, I think it was offer up, they were going out of business. Everything was 50% off. So I got this guy who is Fisto from <laughs> uh, Masters of the Universe. And he's in pretty good shape. Legs are nice and tight, which is good, but he's missing everything, of course. But he gave it to me for a dollar, but 50% off, so I got it for 50 cents. And then I got this awesome Star World figure case. 
You can see the price was five dollars. Gave it for me two, for two fifty, so I got both of these guys for three bucks, which is pretty cool. And the figure case is in really nice shape. I've been wanting one of these knockoff Star World um, figure cases ever since I realized they were a thing. I mean, look at the artwork. It's, you have not quite Darth Vader, not quite C three PO, not quite Chewbacca, not quite R two D two, an astronaut. Uh, some more robots back there some ships over here I not quite x-wing right there pretty cool if you ask me uh, I love this case so was happy to pick that up and then we got Fisto right here for so three bucks a great pickup and then finally a couple Hot Wheels while I was out searching today I got the Dragon Blaster treasure hunt Let's see see the circle flame logo right there and behind the card you see the uh, wording right there so that was pretty cool this is probably the worst treasure hunt ever for anyone to find right but I got it so whatever and then I got the mystery machine this is just the mainline version this was the super treasure hunt for this case but they didn't have the super version but I was still happy to get the mystery machine didn't have one yet and so it was great for me I'm a big fan of these pop culture cars that they've been doing in the mainline so I was happy to get this so that will about wrap it up guys um, you can see all the stuff I got here, some great stuff, so I was definitely happy. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more thrift stuff on the way, as always. I have some other toy-related content coming, hopefully soon, um, as well as a video tour of the Toy Shack in Las Vegas of Pawn Stars fame, so that'll be coming soon well as some uh, packages that I've gotten of toys and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys later. Peace.